Good day. This is Brian Mustard. I'm with Leap CEO. This is vlog number four. Um, in the first three vlogs, I talked about identity. And uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about where do we go from here, um, whether it's uh, personally or uh, in business, business being a job, career, or, uh, or your own company. Now, um, one of the things, so I, I talked about uh, personality tests and there's actually um, a psychologist from the University of Toronto came out with a, it was called the Big Five, I think it's the Big Five Traits uh, personality uh, test. His name is Jordan Peterson. Uh, he's been on uh, Joe Rogan quite a few times. He's been uh, really covered in the media quite quite a bit here. But anyway, so I went to his site. Uh, let me just uh, make sure I get this right. It's uh, understandmyself.com. And so it's a great test. I think it was like $10 American or something like that, $12 Canadian uh, for the test. And some of the things that it covers is uh, quite interesting. So I've done in the past uh, Myers-Briggs. I've done um, Hexaco test. So Myers-Briggs, I'm an ENTP. Um, Hexaco is more of a right brain and left brain. So I'm number 14 on uh, right brain, number nine on left brain. And I've done a series of IQ tests and EQ tests. Um, I think IQ, I'm around 125. EQ is, I'm around 140. Um, so some of the merits I, I mentioned with this is knowing, knowing yourself, knowing your strengths. Um, you can better understand uh, where you go from there in the context of yourself. And so I'm just going to go through um, uh, the big five traits that uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson and his team have put together here. Um, and the big five traits are... Um, Bear with me here. Agreeableness, conscientiousness, extroversion, neuroticism, and openness. And so, and each one splits into two um, sub facets. Um, so, agreeableness breaks down into compassion and pol politeness, conscientious conscientiousness into industriousness and orderliness. Extroversion, enthusiasm, and assertiveness, neuroticism into uh, volatility and withdrawal, and openness into intellect and aesthetic openness. So I'm just going to quickly run through here um, my <laughs> some of my results, was which was um, interesting, some not surprising, some a little bit surprising. Um, agreeableness, I'm. Uh, 20%, so uh, I'm the low 20 percentile. And that splits out into a compassion, so I'm relatively average in compassion with 55%. Politeness, I'm a 4%, so that's really low. So I guess I come off, uh, I'm very straightforward. I'm more about the information and not really about uh, maybe emotional factors. Uh, conscientiousness, um, I'm at 80%, so high in conscientiousness, uh, and that splits out into industriousness and orderliness. Industriousness, I'm very high at 88%. Orderliness, I'm, I'm uh, above average at 60%. Extroversion, which, you know, it isn't too surprising. I'm an ENTP, so I'm no, I know I'm more of an extrovert. But I scored really high there at uh, 94%. And extroversion splits off into enthusiasm, 79%. So I'm, you know, that wasn't a surprise. Most things that I, I do, I'm fairly enthusiastic about. Um, and then the other one is assertiveness. On this one, I'm, I've scored very high, uh, 96%. So, um, again, not, not really surprising, but... I was I was kind of shocked to see how how high I was. Uh, neuroticism uh, scored uh, fairly low on that eighteen percent. 
um, that splits out into two. And so on the one it was uh, volatility, I'm at 48%. Um, and then the other one was withdrawal. And I was really low on that one, it was 4%. So um, I, get, I guess I brought my average for neuroticism a little bit down. Uh, openness was the other main main trait and that's uh, I was fairly high 83 percent and that splits out into two intellect I was 82 percent and aesthetic openness is 75 percent so so anyways what was really interesting is a lot of the work that I've done in the last two years two to three years I've done a lot of work on my strengths personality type um, and what I've done is uh, I've collected it, collected it, and over the last two years I've been uh, um, being cognizant of what people have uh, complimented me on, and just understanding uh, where I'm at, uh, how I'm how I'm interacting with others or in the situation that I'm in. So anyway, so. I'll, I'll leave a link to, to this. I think it might be helpful, but the reason for this vlog was to understand that personal identity and that foundation. Because once you do that, once you have that, um, I strongly feel that now whatever you do, whether it's personal or in business, uh, you can relay things in the context of you and what your uh, your value system and your personality traits uh, are like. By doing that, you'll be able to recognize yourself a little bit more. But um, it's a, a lot of this is I, I talked about before. But what the next level? What I've done is I've split out. Uh, so I've organized myself into seven main areas. And those areas are um, health and wellness, um, connection and emotional bank account, um, value and wealth, uh, or wealth and fulfillment, uh, strengths and skills, uh, servitude and leadership, and that's you know serving somebody and uh, and being a leader, um, entrepreneur and entrepreneurship. And then uh, peak mastery, what, what I'm interested in being the best I can be in a specific area. So by understanding all that, understanding the context of where you can put it, um, place it, and having uh, an environmental awareness, and being able to categorize certain areas so that you can benchmark it and have some areas of uh, an improvement uh, moving forward. So anyway, so I'm just going to leave you that. I'm going to leave you a couple links uh, below here with uh, uh, some access to, uh, access to the free tool that Dr. Jordan Peterson has here and um, a bit of my results here. And then, uh, then yeah, I'll see you on the next one. And uh, I, I apologize for such a long uh, vlog here. If you've lasted through it, thank you so much. Uh, thank you again for the other comments. Uh, they certainly helped. And then um, it's going to be in the next six vlogs, it's going to be a little bit more rapid fire and a little bit more uh, technical. Um, again, this is in, in the context of being, um, uh, being effective as a person and being ultra effective as a business owner. And if you're a founding entrepreneur or CEO uh, with, a, with a small company, uh, that's... That's where these tools are, are meant to uh, uh, meant to be placed. So, anyways, um, yeah. Any input? Please uh, please let me know. And uh, thank you so much. Bye for now.